today we're going to talk about the numbers on an engine of a Corvette. There's very misleading. People are always asking, is it a matching numbers with this or with that? There's so many people that have bought older cars and they were told that it was matching numbers when they bought it. Then years later they go to sell it and then learn that it wasn't matching numbers. What I want to do today is educate you so you can confirm on your Corvette or a future purchase of a Corvette of how to read the numbers. And with that, I have got two books. This one is available, it's a Corvette Black Book. It gives you the numbers uh, that are used for uh, different engines of this year. Today, we're going to look at a 1975 engine. And this book, which you really don't need to buy, but gosh, to have this book in your collection, I'm honored to have my good friend's book, who uh, Alan Coven. Alan Coven wrote book by the numbers, Corvette by the numbers, and it is an incredible work of all the time that has gone into this book, and it goes in much more detail than just the engine block. With that, we're going to turn it over to Jack, who's the general manager of the company and has been here. 17, 20 years, and uh, he's going to go through the different numbers and explain them to you. When considering if an engine is matching numbers, there's several places to look. Um, the first, which I always look at, is going to be this casting number right here. And when this engine block was cast, they des this number designates what application it may be used in. So if we look at that number there, we're going to look on a 75 Corvette, the block number 3970010. So that tells us for this 75 Corvette, that is the correct block casting number. Okay. On the back of the engine as well, there's also right here the engine casting date, which reads J254. If we reference the Corvette by the numbers book that Greg mentioned, the J stands for October, 25th would be the 25th, and 4 is 1974. So this engine was cast October 25th, 1974. Um, so that tells us that if it's a 74 engine going in a 75 Corvette, that, that's very possible. Um, the next set of numbers that we need to look at are the stamp pad. So on the stamp pad, there's two different sets of numbers. Um, the first that we're gonna go over is the, the date of assembly. So the engine was cast on this particular one, October 25th. Um, it, if you look at the, this says V1029CHB. The V means that it was assembled in Flint, Michigan. Uh, 10 is gonna be the month, October. 29th is the day of October and CHB is going to be the suffix. If we look at our Corvette Black Book, CHB is, is on here listed as a 350 with 165 horsepower and an automatic transmission. So that, that is lining up with the 75 Corvette. Um, the other set of numbers we're gonna look at is the identification number. Um, this one reads 15S403436. So what we're going to really look at is the 5, which is going to be that this is a 1975, and then the last 6 of the VIN number is going to be stamped in there as well, which is the 403436. Um, that's what you're going to reference your VIN number on your car and to see if it is in true matching numbers. 